Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner, available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. This episode, I would like to announce the fact that C++ 20 has officially been released and discuss how one goes about actually getting a copy of the standard. Now, the C++ standard is an ISO standard, is an international standard that is actually pretty rigorously defined. And it goes through a long process of people submitting proposals, getting them approved, and then having those things merged into the standard and then making that standard available as an official publication. And then that's the thing that actually gets implemented by our compiler vendors and our standard library vendors. And if you can see here, this official document name is the ISO IC EC 14882 colon 2020. That's the version right here. It's the 2020 version, and it is colloquially known as C20. A lot of things have happened in C20, and we have covered many episodes about C20 on this channel, in fact. So you find yourself going, I want an official copy of the standard so I can read it. After all, it is only 1,853 pages. So you go to the official ISO website and you see that this is 198 Swiss francs. Now, I'm using this currency conversion website here, and I see that 198 Swiss francs today is $223, or 181 euro. And for many of us, we would think that sounds kind of like a lot of money. What are my other options if I want to read the C++ standard legally without just you know, trying to find an illicit copy of the standard document somewhere. And the first place that I'd like to point you to is c++reference.com, cbpreference.com. And it is relevant to actually show you how to get here. So you need to go from the main page, from the C++ reference, to this external links right here. And what we have is this collection of PDFs that have been released. Now, the official ISO standard is something that is copyrighted by ISO, and that's not something that we can uh, legally distribute. But the final working drafts, and in fact, all of the working drafts up to the specific one that is actually published by ISO, are freely available. So you can go here and you can find the C++ 11, 14, 17, 20 PDFs, and then this one, the current draft. The current draft includes things that have been merged in since C++ 20 was actually approved. And you find yourself, okay, well, you know, this is awesome. First of all, you can easily click on this. I can download this PDF. So this is officially linked from the ISO CPP website. Uh, this is a nice collection, in my opinion, is to get it from the CPP reference, but you can also go to the isocpp.org website. But then you also find yourself wondering, okay, well, where did this come from? And what is the process for the standardization here? And if you're really interested in that, I can point you to the GitHub project C++ slash draft. Now, this is where proposal papers are actually submitted and literally merged into the standard. There are open pull requests, there are issues, and this is a bunch of LaTeX source. And if you find yourself really wanting to read that kind of thing, then have fun. But if you're saying to myself, hey, you know, I would really like to be able to see what's currently going on with the standard, what does the current draft standard actually look like? Besides the last officially published paper that I just showed, there's also the, well, it's a handy website. This is the working draft unofficially published thing that gets generated regularly. We can see this was generated four days ago. I'm recording this on December 16th. And it is generated from the LaTeX sources and crafted by this HTML generator tool. Now this, this is actually available at eel.is slash c++ draft, eel.is slash c++ draft. And you can come here and you can, particularly if you're familiar with the stable names, so if you know that the section that you want is an iterator.concept.output, it's pretty easy to get here. And in fact, this actually generates a really helpful URL here where you can put in iterator.concept.output and it'll get you to this stable name. And you can link to even subparagraphs and have them highlighted. 
So there you go. Those are the avenues that you can go about if you actually want to read and reference the C++ standard yourself. You can get it either officially from the ISO website and pay approximately 200 units of money depending on current conversion factors and uh, what currency you are using. Or you can go straight to the GitHub page or you can get the last standard draft PDF that has been published, or you can easily go here to the eel.is website and get all kinds of live generation of our C++ standard with easy linking so that you can share these things with friends if you want to discuss them. So thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. Be sure to subscribe.